You are always welcome at East Africa's best language school, Swahili Dar Language School in Tanzania. Habari. Karibu, karibu tena kujifunza Kiswahili. Leo tunajifunza noun classes. Noun classes. Huh? And um, I'll talk a little bit about uh, um, introduction of noun class, but uh, if you want to understand this better, you just go watch my um, noun class introduction. The whole video for introduction of noun class. You'll understand that part better. I'll talk a little bit about that part because I want you guys to be aware about what I'm going to teach because this is the part one of noun class, right? So then today I'll discuss more in detail about a more noun class, okay? So stay with me. Stay. So from today you'll be able to understand how you do um, plural of nouns, like here, like mtoto, watoto. You know this, mtoto is a child, Watoto is children. So you can see um, in Prolo we change in the beginning of the word. In Swahili we change in the beginning of the word. Like mtoto is singular, is one child. Watoto is many children. You see? So in the beginning of the word we change it. Not like English, you change it at the end of the word. In Swahili we change at the beginning of the word. Do you understand that? Okay, so in Swahili we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and uh, maybe nine, but I don't want to talk about it today. Now, noun classes. We have mwa, mmi, kivi, jima, nn, un, mahali class, ku class, uh, and also we have the ki class. Not the Kiwi, not the Kiwi class, but also we have the key class. I don't want to talk about that uh, today. I don't want to talk about Ku class today, and I don't want to talk about Mahali class today. It's very important that you understand in uh, noun class, we have two big noun class. We have noun class um, that talk about people, and we have noun class that talk about uh, um, things. So. Part one of non-class will speak about people and animals, like living creatures. And part two of non-class talk or speak about uh, or tells about uh, things. Do you understand? Do you know that those are child and children? Mtu watu, a person, people. Mze waze is um, an old person and uh, old people. Me non-class. This is the non-class about thing. It tells. Uh, it tells about things. Mti, mti is a tree. Miti is trees. Mkate, mikate, those are bread. Eh? Mto, mito, mto is a river. Mito, rivers. See? Kivi, kivi non class. Kiti and viti. Kiti is a chair. Viti is chairs. And uh, kitu is a thing. Vitu is things. Eh? Kijiji, vijiji. Kijiji is a village. Vijiji a village. Are you with me? Nazi is a coconut. That's no. Jima non class now. Jiko is a kitchen or a stove. Majiko are kitchens or stores. Jibu is the answer. Majibu are answers. Jiji is a city. Majiji are cities. Majiji. And any non class. And number five, NN noun class. NN noun class is also about things. And uh, Nazi, like Nazi, Nazi is a coconut. Hmm? Nazi, prulo, will be many coconuts will be Nazi. Nyanya, tomato. Many tomatoes will be Nyanya. Ngoma is a drum or local music. Many drums will be ngoma also. This so singular and plural will be the same. NN class. NN class, singular and plural will be the same. Uh, Jima class, those are words that start with J-I. Words and the plural will be ma. Like jiko, jibu. Jibu is the answer and plural will be ma, jibu. Jiji is the city. Plural will be ma, jiji. Cities. Are we together? Okay. And now um, there we have... Number six, noun class. 
U N non class. U N non class. This has the word that starts with U, and the plural will be N. See that? Like Uma. Uma is a fork. Numa is fox. You use a fork to eat, eh? And the Uzi. Uzi is the thread. We use the thread to sew, right? Uzi. News is plural. Uso is a face. And uh, Nuso are faces. You see? And Mahali class. You go watch my video I made about Mahali class. And the cool class, the Geraint. Sometimes we call it Geraint class. Cool class. Okay? And uh, also Minon class. Minon class, uh, this is the group of non class that starts with M and plural is me. And most of these words are tree. Uh, so all names of trees that you meet will fall under this non class. You see that? And uh, all the words of trees will start with M and the plural will be me. Like Mti is a tree, trees will be miti. So if you want to understand that, if you want to know uh, the word of trees, go watch that video of noun introduction of noun class. And uh, kivi are the words that start with ki and plural will be vi. Ki plural will be vi. But these are for things. Don't mix with the one noun class because within one noun class we'll have different categories and one of the category of one noun class will be key. You we'll see here like key and V plural. But here are people. This one is for things. You remember more about people and the animals, maybe insects also. But me kivi jima. N N U N Mahali class, cool class, those will be the now the names of things, the nouns for things, right? Okay, I hope you understand that uh, introduction part. I hope you understand that part. Now I'll go slow, and uh, we are going to concentrate about uh, uh, we are going to concentrate with our topic more noun class, more noun class like that number one noun class. This is the noun class about people. I'll go slow now so that you understand this thing uh, better. So mwa, within a noun class, noun class for people and animals. Within a noun class, we have um, five categories within a noun class. Eh? We have five categories. So uh, category number one is names of people first. Number one is only names for people. So if you meet any word that starts with m, plural will be wa. If that word is for people, for a person, uh, maybe a girl is msichana. Msichana starts with m. So obviously you'll understand the plural of that word. Okay? So msichana is singular. Many girls will be wasichana. So that is category number one. M in singular, wa is plural. Like mwalimu is a teacher. Walimu teaches. Mwanafunzi is a student. Wanafunzi, students. Mwanamke is a woman. Wanawake, women. Huh? Msichana is a girl. Wasichana, girls. See that? Mvulana is a boy. Wavulana, boys. Mwanamume is a man. Wanaume. Mwanamume is a man. Wanaume, men. Mke is a wife. Wake, wives. Mzazi is a parent. Wazazi, parents. That category number one about mwa non class for people. And category number two of non class is also for people but this is more family class and uh, this class will tell us uh, names of uh, family members like uh, mama mama is the mother and uh, when there are many mothers we will also call them mama okay baba is the father many fathers also baba so proof ba of father will be uh, proof of Baba is Baba. Kaka is a brother. Many will be 
the same. So single and plural for category two are the same. Dada is the brother is kaka and dada is a sister. When there are many sisters, we will also call them dada, the same. Bibi is grandmother. Many grandmothers, you will also call them Bibi. Babu is grandfather. Many grandfathers, we, you, uh, you will also call them Babu. Binti, Binti is the daughter. Hmm? Binti is the daughter. And daughters will be Binti. Huh? So one daughter will be Binti. Many daughters, you will also call them Binti. So these are my Binti. You say that, right? Eh? But also, you can also say ma. In the beginning, you, if, you, if you say ma binti, you put ma there. In the beginning, you say ma binti. You are also right. Jirani, like here. Like Jirani is the neighbor. Eh? He's a neighbor, but he's very close to the family. So a neighbor is Jirani. That is one neighbor. Many neighbors will be Jirani, but all... all or Majirani. So neighbors will be Jirani or Majirani. Rafiki is also here in this category. And Rafiki is a friend. Friends will be Rafiki or Marafiki. Category number three are also wait for people. Just like family words, just like uh, the first category. Just like the second category and the first category. These are wait for people. What people? These are wait for people that uh, start with K-I. People words that people words that start with K-I will follow under Mwa noun class. And these words are like uh, Kinyozi are those people we go to cut our air. So uh, you go to the barber shop, how do you call them? The barber is kinyozi, huh? kijana, kijana is youth. So young people or youth, you call kijana. One will be kijana, many young people will be vijana, youth. And uh, kiongozi, kiongozi is a leader. Viongozi, leaders. So kipofu is a blind person, and vipofu are blind people. Kiziwi. Kiziwi is a deaf. Some people who cannot hear is kisi. A person who cannot hear is kiziwi. Many people who cannot hear will be viziwi. A person who cannot see is kipofu. People who cannot see, vipofu. And kiwete are klipo. Klipos. People who cannot uh, um, people who does not have legs, yeah, you call them uh, kiwete or viwete. Uh, kilema, kilema is some uh, disabled people, people who maybe don't have one hand, people who maybe uh, have the eye but it does not function. That is kilema. If I have uh, uh, ear but uh, does not, I cannot hear. I am kilema. So if you don't have body party or you, uh, your body party does not function, you are kilema, right? So uh, in this category, you see many words for disabled people fall in this category. Okay, and that is about also, that is also about people. See that? But uh, we have fourth category. The fourth category is more for professional people. This category is special category for profession uh, words for people. Uh, and also uh, all, all words that uh, you know it is for people or a person, but this word does not start with the M, mm, is not from the fam familiar, family category and it does not start with K-I. That word will go here. Eh? Even if it is not professional, it will go to this category. Like Daktari, Madaktari. Daktari is a doctor. Madaktari will be doctors. Policy is a policeman. Ma policy. So you see, the plural of these words will be ma. We'll start with ma. Ma, 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 ma. 
Polisi, mapolisi. Fundi is technician. Mafundi, technicians. Dereva is a driver. Madereva, drivers. Rais is a president. Marais are presidents. Eh? Waziri. Waziri is a minister. Mawaziri, ministers. Mawaziri. Eh? Balozi. B-L- B-A-L-O-Z-I. Balozi. Balozi is ambassador. Mabalozi, ambassadors. You see that? And uh, so this category 1, 2, 3, and 4 are words for people. Words for people. I repeat, these are words for people. But category number 5, these are words for animals. Animal category fall in category number 5. You see? So, let's see. Uh, what, what are those animals? Simba. You know Simba. Everyone knows Simba. Huh? Simba is the lion. Many lion will be Simba. Tembo, elephant. Many elephant, Tembo. Twiga, giraffe. Many giraffe will be also Twiga. Swala is gazelle. Many gazelle also Swala. Nyani is a monkey. Monkey also. Chui is what is Chui? You know Chui? Chui is leopard. Many of them? Chui. Paka is a cat. Paka. Mbwa is a dog. Kuro mbwa. Mbuzi is a goat. When there are many also say mbuzi. Ngombe. Ngo. Ngo. Ngombe. Eh? This is ngo. Ngombe. Ngombe is cow. Many cows will be ngombe. Mbu. Mbu is mosquito. And uh, when there are many mosquitoes, we'll say, we'll call them mbu also. So, now you know um, the words for mwanan class. And after you know the words for mwanan class, let's try to form some simple small sentences uh, for this uh, mwanan class. Okay. Before we do that, before we make those sentences, let's ask ourselves, what is this? How do you say this? Oh, this in Swahili. Eh? How do you say this? This in Swahili is who you. But only, only for one on class, only for these words. If you want to say this is a lion, you will say who you is. Ni Simba. If you want to say this is a doctor, you say who you. Ni daktari. If you want to say this is the mother, you say who you. Ni mama. You see? Who you? Who you ni mama? This is a child. You say, who you ni mtoto? Only for one on class. You don't go there. You don't go there and you say, that is the vill this is the village. Kijiji is the village. You remember? You don't say, who you ni kijiji? No. This for this other non class is different. This will only be applied like this in one on class only. Do you understand that? So, how do you say this for Mwanan class? Will be Hawa. So, who you and Hawa. This and this. Who you and how? That will be like, just like this one. You just take that, you get Yule for that. And those, rule of Yule, those will be, just take this one. Say, Wale. Eh? So, who you? Hawa, yule wale. You see that? So now you know how to say this and this, this and this, that and those. Who you? Hawa, yule wale. Then let's let's discuss a little bit uh, very fast about possessive. Possessives like uh, angu. Angu, you know angu. Angu is my. Always angu will be there. For all noun classes, angu will be my. But what changes, what makes the difference is that in a noun class, in a noun class, we'll put maybe W, we'll put W here and here. We'll say wangu. You see, angu is there for noun class. Huh? Wangu, singular 
we are going to put w and the plural also we are going to put uh, uh, w for singular we are going to put w and plural we are going to put w so here to say wangu for more non class we will say so my to say my so to say my for more non class you are going to say wangu singular and plural you are going also to say, to say you are also going to say wangu your or yours will be wako so you are going to put w here also to say wako you are for you are Ake is his or her. For more non class, it is going to be wake. Etu, etu, etu is our or ours. For more non class, you are going to put W there also to say wetu. Enu is you plural, you all, yours. For more non class, you are going to say wenu. Ao is there or theirs. For more non class, you are going to say wow. So they are teacher. Say mwalimu wow. They are child. Mtoto wow. You see that? But uh, uh, not only W for you are not only going to put W for uh, more non class. It's not only to be. It's not only going to be W for more non class. We are going to put W for this to say my, your, his or hers, ours, you plural, yours, and uh, theirs. For more non class, you are going to put W only, only, you are going to put W, you are going to put W only. When you tell this ones, category number, not category, not familiar. For familiar, you are not going to say wangu for familiar. You are not going to say wangu for familiar. For category number three, yes, you are going to say wangu like uh, my leader, you say kiongozi wangu. Your leader, you say kiongozi wako. Uh, our leader, you say kiongozi wetu. For category four, also, you are going to put uh, uh, W here. You are going to put W. You are going to put W for all of this. To say, like, my doctor will say, Daktari, wangu. My, uh, my driver will say, Dereva, wangu. You see that? It, so, it's okay for category number one, category number three, category number four also is okay. And the category number five is also okay. You can say, my, maybe, my dog. My dog will say, mbwa, mbwa, wangu. But not for familiar. For familiar, including these words, exception words, like uh, Jirani, neighbor, and Rafiki, you are not going to say, my friend, Wangu. You are not going to say Wangu as my friend. So what are we going to, uh, to use for familiar category? For familiar category, we are not going to put Wangu there. We are not going to put Wangu there for familiar category. For familiar... Family category, we are going to use we are going to use Y for singular and Z for plural. So we'll say Yangu, like Mama Yangu, my mother will be Mama Yangu. My father will be Baba Yangu. Eh? My sister will be Dada yangu. You see that? Dada yangu. But to say uh, my sisters, many sisters, you're going to say dada zangu. Dada zangu for many sisters. This is singular and a plural. Dada yangu, dada zangu. You see that? So to say my brother, one will be kaka yangu. My brothers, kaka zangu. Your brother will be kaka yako. I put here kaka yako. And you, just you, your brothers, many brothers will be kaka zako. I put here kaka zako z for your brothers kaka zako. Okay, do you understand that? Okay, 
and uh, for his his grandmother will be bibi yake his grandmother bibi yake i'll put y for ake is his or hers so his grandmother will be bibi yake hmm? and when grandmothers are many i'll say his grandmothers will be bibi zake his grandmothers bibi zake you see that and when they are our neighbor our neighbor just see one neighbor one neighbor our neighbor will be jirani jirani is the neighbor jirani yetu is our neighbor and many neighbors will be jirani zetu do you understand that so that is how we do that is how we do for one on class i hope you understand me so only for familiar class we'll put y for singular and the z for plural but uh, for Category 1, 3, 4, and 5, we are going to put wangu. We are going to put wangu in here. Instead of Y or and Z, we are going to put wangu, or the W for singular and W for plural. See that? You need to remember that. That is very important because it will help you to understand my sentences here. Like here. How do you translate this sentence? Huyu ni mwalimu. Huyu ni mwalimu will be this pause the video write the translation by yourself there and play it to see if you got them right who in mwalimu will be this is a teacher who in kiongozi this is a leader who in babu this is a grandfather who in hawa ni watoto these these many children these are children watoto these are men that yule that is a president that is a girl that is a technician those are doctors that those sorry those are drivers you see that did you get that? And now also, eh? Pause the video, tell me the translation of these ones. Who you need dada yangu will be this is my. Remember? My sister. See that? This is your child. See that? Those are our neighbors. See that? these are their friends see that that is you plural you are leader see that so this is how we uh, make our sentences with noun class so and now today remember we are only discussing about the more noun class we did not go to those others noun class how to say this and that for more noun class okay now tell me the plural when this dada dada is a sister but how will you say this sentence when you have many sisters dada plural of this sentence will be hawa ni dada zangu see that how any dada zangu this sentence that is your child so many children eh how do you say in swahili those are your children eh try to say that in swahili that will be wale those ni children watoto so those are You are children. See that? See that? And now, wale ni majirani zetu. Wale ni majirani zetu will be those are our neighbors. So how do you say that is our neighbor? Yule singular. Yule ni jirani singular. Yetu. One neighbor. 
yule ni yule ni jirani yetu just one neighbor see that hawa ni rafiki zao hawa ni rafiki zao these are eh? these are their friends these are their friends hawa ni rafiki zao so how do you say um this is their friend who you ni rafiki yao who you ni rafiki yao this is their friend how do you say yule ni yule ni kiongozi wenu that is you all you are leader that is you all you are leader so how do you say those are your leaders in swahili will be wale ni vi o ngozi wenu wale ni viongozi wenu see that okay I hope you get you, you 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 get it. I hope you get it. So now, tell me pause the video, do this exercise. Zoezi, you see the zoezi there? So do translate those sentences. Those are animals. Those are animals uh, will be wale ni animals, wanyama wale ni wanyama those are animals and how do you say this this is a farmer who you ni a farmer mkulima who you ni mkulima this is a farmer that is an old man that yule ni mzee yule ni mzee old man or old woman just mzee this is my visitor. Who you? Ni mgeni wangu. This is my visitor. Who you ni mgeni wangu? That is your cook. Is that your cook? Yes or no question we start we need to start with J. J. That is that your cook? J. Yule ni mpishi wako je yule ni mpishi wako what about this those are our teachers wale ni walimu wetu wale ni walimu wetu those are our teachers my father is coming later baba Baba yangu anakuja baadaye. Baba yangu anakuja baadaye. My father is coming later. How do you say this then? How do you say this then? His dog is hungry. Mbwa Mbwa wake ana Nja. Mbwa wake ananja. His dog is hungry. My brother will visit me today. How do you say that? In Swahili will be kaka. Will be kaka yangu atani tembelea. Leo. Kaka yangu atani tembelea leo. Their parents are very old. In Swahili be wazazi wao ni wazee sana. Wazazi wao ni wazee sana. Their parents are very old. Our sister is a doctor. Dada Dada yetu ni daktari our sister is a doctor uh, dada yetu ni daktari and how do you say this last one this is our small dog who you ni mbwa 
wetu mdogo huyu ni mbwa wetu mdogo i hope you understood this lesson ninatumaini uh, umeelewa somo hili na somo hili ni msaada kwako and this lesson is helpful to you asante sana kwa heri kwa heri salute